I love it, I really do. This beat is so well executed. Just sounds so good to me. I didn't know how much I needed this collab. What's up? What's good, YouTube? It's the Sensei. Bow to your Sensei. Bow to your Sensei! Okay. Back again for another reaction and review. So today, Ian Dior just dropped a brand new project for us. I don't know if you want to call it an album or an EP. I could, I could say it was an album. It was nine songs, but a couple of the songs he had already released as singles. Today I'm going to be checking out one of the ones that he hadn't released as a single called Pretty Girls. And I kind of just guessed um, as far as which track I should go with to react to from this project. But turns out I think I picked a really good one because I'm looking at the description of the song right now and it says that um, this song interpolates Gives You Hell by the All American Rejects and I remember I think it was sixth grade. I was obsessed with that song, Gives You Hell. And that was also the song that like, it was during the phase where I thought I could actually sing and sing really well. So this one should be a fun one. I'm super excited for it. Ian Dior never really does long songs. This song's only two minutes and 14 seconds, but I still figured it'd be a fun one to check out. So let's go ahead and get right into it. Pretty Girls by Ian Dior. my time, honey miss calls you cry. Why you always hit my line with the same old line? Pretty girls wanna have fun, get drunk, get fucked up. Why you hit my line? I was talking about the same shit, wasting my time. Son, I did it, you were brainless. One of the kind is what you had me thinking you were out of my mind. And the truth hurts me down, so I can't lie. It's been better with you, I'm alive. Okay, so maybe I just haven't given it enough time. But I'm not hearing the influence from Gives You Hell just yet. Maybe it'll come in later, but we just got the chorus and the post chorus. I don't know what I'm missing. Unless, I don't know. I still don't even see it in the lyrics. Not. I'm not discrediting this song at all though, because I am enjoying it a lot so far. It sounds really good. It sounds like typical Ian Dior that we normally get. I would say this one is a little bit more upbeat than he normally does, um, but I, I'm enjoying it a lot. I don't know what it is. It's not like he has an amazing voice, but his voice just works so well for what he does. This weird, like, crossover between, um, punk pop and rap like sometimes he's actually rapping there's like two tracks on this uh ep where he's actually rapping and then i would say majority of it is him singing but something about his voice is super unique and i, I think it makes him stand out i'm honestly surprised that he's not bigger than he is already i mean he does have some big features he's done music with machine gun kelly and travis barker and just recently he did a song with Lil Baby. I did react to that actually, so I will put a link to that in the description for you all if you want to check it out. But yeah, I just don't know how he's not like huge yet, but I, I think it's coming. I definitely think it's coming. I mean, let's see. He's mega young. Like, okay, so he's 21 years old. I said mega young like he was like way younger than me. He's two years younger than me, but he blew up relatively fast, but I feel like since blowing up, he hasn't gotten like that much bigger. I don't know, kind of weird, but he's definitely dope. 
I thought the beat was gonna drop right there. Pretty girls wanna have fun, get drunk, get fucked up. Don't waste my time, gonna miss calls you cry. Why you always get my life with the same old lies? Pretty girls wanna have fun, get drunk, get fucked up. Why you been online, always talking about the same shit. Pretty girls wanna have fun, wasting my time, trying to get you a brainless. Get drunk, get fucked up. Okay, yeah, so. I don't think I like heard any influence from Gives You Hell, um, but either way, it was still a solid track. I mean, when I listen to Ian Dior, I don't look for lyrics or anything, so I was pretty much just gauging that off of the vibe he was giving us in that song, and I think it's a pretty solid vibe. I mean, he's, from what I can tell on this EP, he's kind of just making some music to have a little fun to, you know, drink, drink with your friends or whatever you do to have fun. It seems like that's kind of what he's trying to do with this EP. But as far as this song goes, it's solid. I wouldn't say it's like my favorite on this project by any means. Um, Good Day, which was one of the singles off this project, that's probably still my favorite on this project. I also really like Paradise. And then I think it's shameless or maybe it was psycho that was also like a standout for me but this song if i were to rate it from one to ten i think i'd have to give it like i'd say like a seven i mean it wasn't amazing but it wasn't bad by any means it was definitely a cool track a cool track that i'm gonna come back to i feel like with this project it'll be one that I go to and listen to the whole project at one time. I tend to do that with Ian Dior's projects just because he makes shorter songs, so it's really easy to do it that way. And you go and listen to him when you're in a certain type of mood, so it's always easy to listen to that whole project. But yeah, dope song. If you all did enjoy my reaction to this song, please go ahead and drop a like on the video. Let's see if we can get this one to 30 likes. I don't know. You guys got me. And if you haven't already, please make sure to subscribe to my channel. Thank you all for tuning in. I hope you all have a sensational day. <laughs> sensational. And I'm out. Peace.